today. Today is going to be part three. We're going to tear down the engine today and uh, see what kind of damage we have. So let me show you. Uh, I've managed to get the bolt out uh, out of the cam. That's a 28 millimeter. They must really torque those things down pretty damn good because it took everything I had to uh, break that damn thing loose. So let me put you down and rotate this over and we'll go from there. Right. So, let me show you here. Uh, I believe this is the one uh, was knocking, but uh, you know, they all have a lot of slack in them. But, anyways. Let's get this broke down and uh, go from there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stamp each individual uh, main cap there. Uh, buddy brought me over some stamps and we're going to go ahead and get these stamped up. So let me number these then we'll start taking it apart. All right. As you can see, I got it numbered one, uh, two, three, and four. I am gonna number the connecting rods. I'm gonna go from six to one. So that'll be six, five, four, three, two, one. That's probably not the correct way to do it, but that's why I'm going to do it for my purposes and go from there. So let me go ahead and zip off these two uh, connecting rods, push the pistons down and go from there and we'll go uh, take the remaining of them off and check it out. Okay, I got the crank out of it now. Uh don't know if uh, it spun the bearing on the connecting rod. Uh, from what I could see of the bearings that were in the, the main caps there, they all look good. Uh, the bearings I took off on the crank side look pretty good. I'll show you the crank here. You know. As you can tell, it's the crank looked pretty good. Uh, the only one that concerns me is this one. This one looks a little rough. Uh, the rest of them are pretty much pretty damn smooth and clean. 
so I don't know I'm gonna get a second opinion on it from a buddy it's uh I'm gonna try to get a hold of him but as you can tell it this one looks pretty rough right in there It has a lot of grooves cut into it. It's not real smooth like those. So I'm betting that's probably the one that was knocking in the car. Uh, I'm gonna check the uh, the rest of it. So that would be the number three rod. Uh, and I'm gonna look at the connecting rod in here and just double check And feeling that it has some grooves cut into it also. So, I don't know. I'm going to check into with a buddy, like I said. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But, it's pretty bad. So, for right now, I'm going to get a hold of my buddy. Get him to come over here. Take a look at this motor. And get his opinion on it. And we'll go from there and I'll give you an update on it here in a minute. All right, buddy just left. He uh, he told me that I would have to pull the, the rod out, take the head off. He said I have to take it and go have it machined to make sure it's still in uh, the right way. And uh, he said just because it's messed up on the, the rod and the crank, that he would not take the chances on putting it back together because it could cause problems from where we started at. So I don't know if I really want to do that. I'm going to get a hold of the machine shop, find out how much that's going to cost. Uh, I think I may be better off just trying to find another motor, low mileage motor. Uh, you know, by the time I have machine work and all that done um, you know I have to go get more gaskets and all that with all the parts and stuff involved I could uh, be at the right price for uh, another low mileage motor so I'm gonna look for another one in the junkyard uh, get prices and I'm gonna call the machine shop Monday on this so I will let y'all know uh, what comes out about this whole situation. Um, if you like the content, subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Tell me what you would do in this situation. And uh, I will take every comment with a grain of salt and weigh out my options. So until the next video, catch you later.